Hello there, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today we are looking at Fent grassland equipment. So we've got a uh, Fent tractor here, it's got a Cargo 3X loader on it, and then it's got a Lotus 6 rotor tether on the back as well. So this is the first bit of kit in the field, and uh, over there, right in the distance, you can see we've got a uh, set of mowers as well. But we're gonna go and have a look around them in a minute. But the purpose of this event, is basically so this is sort of our silage for the cattle for the farm and uh we're doing at fent come this is the third year they've been they come in and uh over the course of a couple of days they provide training for all their sort of demonstrator drivers or anybody else like that so it's a uh, it's good for everybody to get on the kit and uh have a go you know learn about it learn about all the new kit that's come out any upgrades or anything so yeah let's go and have a look around so this is the crop, it's uh, Italian ryegrass, and we're sort of, what are we, we're the 23rd of May, so you see how high it is, look, it's not far, well it is waist height, waist height basically, so it is a good crop. I've already uh, cut the headlands and ted them out, so we'll bale them this afternoon, then we'll mow all this ready for everyone coming tomorrow, so that it's given the grass time to wilt, give it about 24 hours to wilt, so that they can uh, come and bale all that up tomorrow. So this is uh, one of the mowers. Obviously front mounted, rear mounted. It's on a 718 fent. Just making the, uh, doing some height adjustments at the moment, but it's still a little bit, still a little bit long. We'll cut that a little bit shorter yet. You see the grass is actually higher than the top of the mower. Hell of a crop over here. So this one is a slicer 3160. It's got a conditioner in the back as well. And the front is a slicer 310 and it's got a conditioner on the back and front PTO driven. So this is the 211 we saw at the beginning of the video. Ooh, smells new in here. This is a lovely little tractor. Sunroof. A lot of room in here. Look, they even put that. Charge your phone. Let's stop and put this down then. So, down we go. Start the PTO, gonna select 540. I'll go 540E. Um, no, actually we'll go 540. And then, and off we go. I'll lower it down a bit. There we go. So this six rotor tether, there is an eight one coming in a minute, so we'll 
show you that one as well. So this is the stuff that's just been freshly mowed, ready for baling tomorrow. This is the 516 tractor and it's the Fent Former, the 671, which is the twin rotor rake. So we're getting all the headlands bailed up at the moment and then we're going to cut the grass, um, well we've already started cutting the grass in the middle, ready for baling tomorrow. I did, I did cut this yesterday and it's been tedded out and it's, it's dried quite well to be honest. So let's go and have a look at some of the balers. This is the new Fent 728, it's quite a big tractor, very nice in the cab as well. system under here and then all the solid route because it's combi baler this one just getting ready to bail up the first bale obviously going up there rags coming back down as we speak got this I don't think it's been filled up but a little hand wash no I haven't filled it up yet Brand new machine, this is its first bale it's ever made. Got quite a big pickup on them. All the knives as well, well, behind there. Good idea, isn't it? You just pull that pin let them down so it's easy refilling hold six each side and then you can get two on here as well just putting them on They've added this flap this year, so they've got a flap now, so when they roll out, it rolls onto this like flap that sort of drags behind to stop any stones puncturing the bales. This field is called Hillsides because 
wants a hill each side. There comes the rake behind. Big steep hill, it doesn't look very steep, but it is. It's rolling them to the side so they don't roll down the hill. This is without doubt the most important job of the whole event and that is moving the toilet on Wednesday the event's in this field that they're still mowing the grass at the moment and on Thursday it's in the other field that we've just seen with a big hill so it takes a 560 80 JCB to move this thing look at it yes and then we're gonna set a couple of little tents up here and we're gonna have a little buffet with some food in it over to the 516 now. Got a nice tractor as well. Just got one more time to go around on the headland. Look at this though, I don't know if you can see it. Hercules Bain. Good crop in here as well. Time to go a bit slower to get it through the conditioners because the hill's so steep. So this is the eight rotor rake, not been used yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's called the Twister 8608. So just having a look around this at the moment before we put it on and go and have a go with it. So a quick look around the balers we've got here today. Look in here though, it's not even been used yet, this one. Well, none of them have, apart from the combi one at the end. This is a Rotana 160. So this is basically that combi one, but without the wrapper on the back. This is a Rotana 130. This is a fixed chamber baler. It's full of rollers, look. Got the knives there. Big old bit of kit this is. Everyone learning about the net wrap on the fixed chamber baler over there.
two by the road. Just putting the net wrap on now. Make another bale whilst that one being wrapped on the back. So, this is the fixed chamber baler. Just been having a look around it. This is the first bale that this baler has ever made in its life. Probably have it a little bit bigger. But it's quite hard. So I'm in the 728. Got the camera on the back, let's see what's going on. Got a phone holder. This is everything that's going on. Tom lamp. Satellite up there. And right. Just changing the net wrap, so you pull that out and then pull that. And it pulls that out of the way. And we'll have another one on. And we've still got loads under here. So the other side's run out as well which means they both run out at exactly the same time, which is good. Bale's nearly ready. Stop. Put the net wrap on. And you see it come out the back. And it'll start wrapping it. I'm going to carry on. nearly ready and it's just done that off she goes there it goes and the next bale is ready so there we have a few bits I'm just gonna come in with a wrapper now and just wrap these last few that the uh, the other bale has made and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look round at some of this pen equipment and I'll see you in the next video.